Hi there, guys. So, uh, we are here. We are uh, today with uh, me and Michael. We're here. Sorry. Uh, yes, once again, sorry. Uh, so, today we are here to discuss the UK second estimate GDP. And as you can see here on the screen, uh, me and Michael are here to cover the data for you. Let's jump to the slides and um, uh, cover a little bit of the uh, historical movements of the indicator as well as projections for the uh, future performance. So, if we talk about that, then it is important to mention that um, it may confirm that the economy grew by 0.5% during the quarter. Uh, unspectacular, but better than most major rivals. Uh, I guess. Uh, so yes, uh, uh, some economists reckon it could be revised down to just 0.4 uh, if nervous businesses have cut their spending. But as you can see on my screen, the forecast at the moment stands still at 0.5%. And the prior figure also was at 0.5. Um, well, a disappointing number could inflame worries over the UK uh, in a week where Brexit fears have already sent the pound sliding to seven year lows. Um, anyway, we will see what will happen. So let's move on to the experts from different banks and financial institutions giving their estimates on the matter. Uh, according to their views, we have the Bloomberg survey summary, where the median estimate stands at 0.5%, average estimate is 0.46, highest estimate is 0.5, and the lowest estimate is 0.4, while the total number of estimates is 32 this time. And let's take a look at a couple of quotes from different banks, of course. For example, Michael Hewson, um, he works at CMC Markets, he says that in our other strange twist of fate, one of the best performing economies in Europe over the past 12 months has found its currency take an absolute hammering in the past few weeks as investors take a rather uh, one-eyed and um, alarmist perspective on the potential negative consequences of a British exit from the EU in referendum vote schedules for June this year. Uh, later this morning, we get the latest uh, uh, iteration of UK Q4 GDP, and the expectations are for growth of 0.5%, uh, says the expert unchanged from the previous reading, and an annualized number of 1.9%. Uh, Though we could see some evidence that business investment is starting to slow from the previous 2.2%, uh, to 0.6%, though the analyzed measure is expected to increase 6.4%. That was uh, Michael Hughes' view on the matter. And we also have a um, research team at Lloyds Bank uh, suggesting that the UK GDP growth has slowed over the past year but remains uh, quite creditable. So they say that the preliminary Q4 estimate indicated that GDP growth edged by um, 0 0.1, uh, oh no, sorry, 0 0.5 quarter on quarter uh, compared to the Q3 in line with the, with the MPC's projection. Industrial production and construction output figures for December, however, uh, have been noticeably weaker uh, than one ONS expected. Uh, this has increased the risk of a downward revision to 0.4% uh, according to the view from Lloyd's Bank. And let's also uh, take a look at the Dukoskopy community member sentiments on the table uh, where we see that traders are more or less 50-50 divided my 51 bullish and 49% uh, bearish vote. And of course, we have a couple of comments, but you can take a closer look at them on our webpage because right now I have to pass the floor to Michael, who will cover the technical for, technical for you.
Thanks to Kate. Hello, everyone. So for today's day release, I've chosen the cable currency pad. As usual, we can have for the uh, UK fundamental today's releases. And uh, the negative surprise trading strategy, expecting the GDP to slightly worsen compared to the forecast. And uh, on the left, the market sentiment for the given pair is bullish, almost at 64% with the sterling being sold in a rather small percentage, uh, 34.81% of all cases, and the US dollar bought in uh, nearly 55% of all cases. Uh, concerning the depending orders built in the 50 pip range and 100 pip range, the majority is to sell the uh, British currency. In the 50 pip range, it's 56.60%, and in the 100 pip range, it's Slightly above the half, 51.05%. Uh, other market participants support our market sentiment. Uh, with the line, they're having 60.61% of traders holding long positions. Uh, Saxo Group has a bullish sentiment of 55.83%, and the daily fix has an 80, uh, sorry, 58% bullish sentiment. So. Uh, moving to the market reaction table, where we see the reactions of the previous five uh, second estimate GDP releases. Uh, the largest reaction was only 31 pips, and the smallest one was 7 pips. We've noticed that uh, in the later days, the new reactions are getting smaller and smaller uh, compared to what we had a year ago. So I'm guessing. Uh, people are paying less attention to fundamental economic data releases. Uh, but nonetheless, based on these reactions, the average one we can expect today is approximately 19 pips. So a really small reaction. We might even see no reaction today. And based on it, we set the take profit and stop loss levels accordingly, with the stop loss level located at 1.3949. And the take profit level at 1.3911. The resistance, however, is a quite strong uh, cluster here, uh, since we've got the. If I'm not mistaken, this is the yeah the daily pivot point and the weekly S3, which are on top of each other. Also, we have the resistance trend line, which is the upper border of a descending channel, which the pair entered. Uh, slightly after the beginning of the week uh, for a five minute chart that's uh, quite a long period and uh, this pair can pro uh, sorry this trend line can provide some solid resistance and prevent the pair from uh, going further we also see a really good confirmation just uh, in the end of the previous hour so uh, bolstering the uh, the trend line itself but uh, the take profit level is located only quite close to the lower Bollinger band, so there are no other uh, good supports on the way. And we actually see that the price has gone slightly lower, and based on it, we can adjust the take profit level approximately 10 pips to the downside, so quite close to the 4 hour S2, and hence the, take pro uh, the stop loss level as well, closer to the 4 hour pivot point. So we have like 30 seconds, 30, 40 seconds to go, and uh, finally the technical indicators, which are mostly giving us bullish signals in the shorter time frames, but uh, bearish in the longer ones. But nonetheless, the most important one is the 30 minute time frame indicator because it was updated 30 minutes ago, specifically for the given day release, and it's giving us mixed signals, so I'm able to give a clear sense of direction. Uh, also, I would like to say about the forecast that uh, the top forecasters, according to the Bloomberg survey, expect the data to fall in line with expectations concerning the quarter on quarter GDP, while the year on year is actually, uh, by BNP Paribus, is expected to go uh, to worsen uh, down to 1.8%. But we should see the data in a second now and we'll see where which reaction we will have. Uh, yeah, the quarter and quarter GDP actually met expectations. Uh, the year on year also met expectations, but we have 
a decline in the total business investment, but uh, I'm guessing the markets mostly paid attention to the GDP figures, and since we do see uh, the expectations met, we don't see any reaction at all, uh, same as the technical indicators suggested, and that is really unfortunate. Um, I guess that's all from my side, and uh, back to you, Kate. Thank you very much, Michael. So, guys, you can see the reaction and the data in the chat section. Uh, not much surprise here. Pretty much everything in line with expectations, uh, except for total business investment. But, uh, but, but, but still, that would be an in indication for for uh, the UK to act or not to act uh, in in June at the referendum. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. See you later today at the U.S. data release. We will discuss it at 13:30 uh, GMT. So make sure you are here. You you are with us. And, and uh, yeah, bye for now.